Hey guys, welcome back to AXC Garage, a channel built for today's Acuras, Hondas, and all the classics. On the previous episode, Brian and I went ahead to remove all the exterior trim, including the roof molding, the sash molding, the bell molding, the windshield cowl, man, pretty much every trim on the exterior. Well, so what are we doing today, Brian? Now that we got all that removed, we can really focus on the paint that was underneath it. So let's go over to our table here. I'm gonna show you what we got, what we're gonna work with. Now when we enter into the detail world, it's a whole nother world. And there's a lot of detailers that know a lot, have a lot of knowledge. And what we want to do today is have the most basic and most beginner detail that you can. We're not going to use any high profile buffers or any high profile wax. We're simply just going to get some things you can get at Walmart just to generally clean up your paint. And I'm sure that detailers can do much better, but we just want to bring out that brilliance and protect the paint today. And that's what we're going to do along with removing some scratches. So let me show you what we have. So the first thing that we have is we got some quick detailer. Now this is going to act as a lubricant for our clay bar, which is the first thing you need to do. What the clay bar is going to do is it's going to pick up any contamination, any roughness, maybe tree sap, anything that's fallen on your paint and sat. This is going to remove it nice and safely and your paint is going to be super smooth. But that does not mean it's protected. From there, what we're going to use is a cleaner wax. Now, this is a very good wax. It's a general all around wax that you can use. It's going to uh, bring a little bit more brilliance out of the paint and it's also going to protect it. Now, you might get about two to three uh, months out of it before you need to reapply. But in the future, I'm thinking about going ceramic coating or even use a spray, uh, ceramic coating wax. But maybe if you know anything about that, drop a line in the comments so we can learn a little bit. Now we're actually going to be using and applying that cleaner wax with a very basic buffer, right? This is not going to damage the paint at all. And we'll show you in just a bit. It comes with bonnets. Those bonnets go on uh, this pad right here. And we're going to use this to actually you know get into the paint and clean it up and then we'll wipe the wax right off so i'm really excited to get started but i really want to start with showing you how to remove little scratches from underneath the door handles and for that there's two ways you can do it you can do it by hand or you can use a little machine uh buffer right here i like this because we can really get a little bit of uh friction going between the uh, panel and the pad to bring those scratches right out. So let's go over to the car and let me show you. So what we have here is inside the door handle. A lot of uh, times you can, when you have a ring on, those was, that was actually scratched the inside here. Now they're actual scratches in the clear coat. They are not scratches deep enough where the actual base coat is removed. So luckily for us, we don't need to do any sanding or anything like that. What you can get yourself is a basic uh, polish compound together. For this, we're using um, a system by 3M. It works really well. Now, what I'm gonna do is I wanna show you what the scratches look like first. So if you come over here and take a look at these scratches, they're actually really in one central area and they are in the clear coat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove them all around. If you focus on here, you can actually barely see just a little bit of them. So what we're gonna be doing is polishing them out. Now, you don't need a lot just want to give it a couple little spurts here and there a few dots okay and that should be just enough now you don't need to use this but what this does is it uh, spins at a high rate and it's going to use the uh, compound polish uh, to create like a friction and that friction is heat and that's going to help to get rid of any of these scratches so what we want to do first and of course you want to clean the panel so we did that prior is just kind of rub it in all right, we're going to rub it in everywhere. And by doing this, we're, we're introducing the actual polish into the paint. Okay? And then we can bring the speed up. We want to be careful of our edges because we don't want to burn through our edges. It doesn't take much. Now, that was just a few seconds and I'm going to wipe it and go ahead and just take a look at the difference. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so if you don't have one of these, you have another option. You can even go uh, into Discount or Advance or any store and you can actually get the attachment and put it on a drill. They have ones that are similar for like headlights. But if you don't have that, well, we're a little bit nutty here, so we take the whole door handle off to do it. But we know a lot of you guys aren't gonna do that. You can do it by hand. So again, just put a little bit of compound and you would pretty much be coming underneath the door handle. And you're just gonna kinda rub it as hard as you can, all right? And really get it into there, all right? You wanna focus on getting into the scratch, removing the scratch. So what you're trying to do is similar to the buffer. Yeah. Applying the pressure, creating the heat and the friction. Yeah, as much as I can. And the more, you can see I'm kind of getting out of breath. The more that you keep it rolling, the more heat that is being produced on a door handle. Now, if we take a look at this in real time, okay, you can actually see with just one pass by hand, take a look at that, that it actually looks just as good as using the buffer. So we had some PDR repair here and there was a scratch in that area. So again, we could do this by hand, but if we have the right tool, we can go ahead and we can use this tool just to kind of go off the edge. We want to be careful to not apply too much pressure and we don't want to go be going too fast because the paint is very thin here and we don't want to burn through that edge. And I got to say, just that right there, it takes it right out. It's like magic. It's beautiful. Brian, I got a question for you. Yeah. How come the fender is painted? You don't have any noise, right? Right. But when you go into the door, it's okay. so rough. 100% understand why. Okay, so this has been painted, and this car has been sitting inside. It has not been susceptible to any of the contaminants outside. This has been sitting outside for God knows how long, uh, previous to the paint job, so it's got a bunch of contamination. I'm gonna show you a little bit of magic right here. We have our clay bar. I'm gonna use that quick detailer. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna keep rubbing on it until the sound goes away. So you let the sound uh, indicate when it is ready to go. So I think right there should be good. And we're pulling off all that dirt, okay? That was dirt you will not be able to get off with a car wash. So Mike, what I want you to do is rub your hand now. Oh, wow. Yep, and now, Over here. So not only, yep, hear that? Not only do they look the same, but they sound the same. So what we're gonna do is clay bar the whole entire car, except for the front end, because we don't need to. We're just gonna remove a whole bunch of contaminants. Now, when we get contaminants like this, or it just gets a little bit more dirty, then we fold it again, okay? And we get ourselves a cleaner area of the clay. Once the clay bar is too dirty, then we have to go ahead and uh, get ourselves a new one. But generally the last about two or three cars or depending on how clean or, clean or not your car is, will determine when you need to get a new clay bar. So Mike, let's go ahead and get started. Mike, look what I pulled off the roof, off the half of the side of the roof. This is the dirt that you cannot just wax, okay? You can't just use wax on the panel. You have to use your clay bar first to remove this, otherwise your wax is doing nothing. This is amazing. What you got? Mine's not bad either, but oh, man. <laughs> nothing compared to yours. You know, because I'm working on the top surfaces, 
where um, a lot of the stuff just sits. Contaminate. You're working on the side where it doesn't attach as easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my clay bar and just keep mashing it together. And I'm gonna get myself a uh, clean side once again to use, all right? So I'll keep doing that. Okay, so we talked to you about just really playing it safe. This buffer is not gonna hurt your paint. It's got an on and off switch right here. Okay, so you don't have to worry about a very high RPM. Now, what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna apply wax directly on here, okay? Now, on the first pass when you have a new bonnet, it's gonna really soak it in. Now, a couple tips before you actually wax your car. What you need to know is you wanna wax your car in a somewhat cool environment. I'm talking around 70 to 80 degrees maybe. If it's just too hot during the day, do it towards the nighttime. The wax is gonna really go on there a lot nicer and it's gonna be able to wipe off. You don't want it to dry. So what we're able to do is wax the whole entire car and then wipe everything off. We don't have to work in sections since we're at about 75 degrees right now. Now, if you take a look at the hood, you're gonna ask, can you wax a brand new paint? Well, you shouldn't really wax it right after, but the technical data sheets will say you need about 30 days for that paint to still cure. So it's been past 30 days, so we're able to wax our fenders and our hood. Now I'm gonna show you how we do it right here, and then we'll go ahead and proceed on the whole entire car. Now the way I like to do it is I start from the beginning and work my way over to the end of the car. And um, I'll start right here in the middle of the hood. I'll kind of smear it in first, kind of get it all in, because we don't want it to sling. And then really you're gonna do is give medium pressure, and we're just gonna work it in to the paint, okay? And you'll be able to tell where you've done it and where you haven't because it's gonna be a little bit more matte where the uh, wax is on the panel. So how do we know when we can take the wax off? It's very simple. You use your finger and you're gonna leave a streak and if it takes it off nice and clean, it doesn't smear, then it's good to go. Take a look at that. I'm writing A, H, C. You see how nice it came off? It's nice and clean. So how do we take it off? Well, I changed my bonnet. I got a brand new fresh one. and I'm gonna do the same exact thing, except I'm gonna take it off and whatever's left over in areas I can't get to, I got my microfiber just to get in all those small areas. Take a look and see how easy this is. So I'll go right over it. And you see how it's taking off the wax? It's cleaning it off. Essentially, it's like wiping it off with a machine. Nice and even. And I gotta tell you, it is so smooth. And it's protected, and I love that about wax. While Brian's doing the rest of the car, all I'm gonna do is just gonna wipe down to residual wax. While the clay bar and the wax really bring out the shine, 
on the original ping on this TL Type S, Brian? Yeah, one of the things I've been wanting to do since I bought the car was to get rid of those scratches right here in the door handle and give it a nice coat of wax. And boy, did we do that today. And we did it just by using basic things that we can get at Walmart or Vance. And we'll put the link in the description. Yeah, you know, it's just so funny because on the scratches in the door, we're able to do it by hand and also with a small pump. Yeah, yeah, you don't need much. And remember, this is not a professional detail correction. It's not. And we could probably hire someone that knows a little bit more about that to do it, but that's not what we're, what we're trying to do. We're trying to do something in-house and teach you guys that for a few bucks, you can get your car looking nice and smooth. Well, the next few episodes, things are gonna get really heat up here. Yeah, we're gonna start to get into that cow, that $15 sp uh, spray job when we fix up that windshield cow and it's gonna look beautiful. I'm gonna have you disassemble all of the mirrors, both the mirrors, put new motors in, but before you do that, I need them to paint, and I've got that wing here that I need to paint as well because the paint has seen better days. It's all faded. That's it. Those are the last three things on this car to get painted. A little bittersweet, but I'm happy about it. And then we're going to put this thing together, and then I think we want to drop it a little low in the coming episodes. Oh man, so much fun things coming along your way. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and like the videos, and also share the video with your friends and family. Yeah, share the videos because you know what? A lot of people can benefit from the simple knowledge, and it's it's great content, and it's coming from knowledgeable people. So absolutely, as always, thank you so much for watching our channel. Hey guys, thanks for helping us rebuild our community. On behalf of uh, AHC Garage, we'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs> <laughs>